One question that I've been asked time and time again over the last three months is, what is my view on Performance Max feed only campaigns? And you only need to do a quick YouTube search or a search on Reddit and you can see that this is a strategy which has been discussed at length on both of those different platforms and forums. And for me, to put it bluntly, in regards to the question of, do I like feed only Performance Max campaigns? My very blunt and clear answer is no. I don't like the strategy and I have no intention on using it in 2023. Now the reason for this is twofold and let me explain both of my reasons because I know that there are some people out there that are very pro this strategy. So before you leave and disgust, let me explain the reasons for why I don't like this strategy. And the first reason is, is it goes against what Google Ads created Performance Max campaigns for. Performance Max campaigns were never created to only appear on one network. So they weren't created to only appear on the shopping network, just like they weren't created to only appear on the search network. By clear design, Performance Max campaigns is one campaign which then pushes your ads out into all of the other different networks where you can show your ads within the Google ecosystem. So as I said, Performance Max was never designed to only show on one of those networks, say for example, shopping, which is what people are doing with this feed only campaign, it was designed to go beyond that and also show in search, display, YouTube, Gmail, along with your shopping feed. And the reason for why I find this a very dangerous practice is because built into the Google Ads algorithm for Performance Max campaigns, it's never designed to only be a shopping feed. It's designed to work, as I said, in all of those different platforms. And especially in the early days of Performance Max campaign where we don't have that much data at all. Yes, we're getting more and more data every single month, but Performance Max campaigns have only just been around for a little bit over a year, and they've only been the priority campaign since the middle of last year. So that's not very long at all. And that brings me to my second point for why I don't like using feed-only Performance Max campaigns. Because if you go through and do a deep dive into the different comments or even go through and really carefully listen to the different YouTube videos where people are talking about this strategy, the core people who have gone about creating this strategy and also promoting it on YouTube, they would even say themselves, and I heard quite a few of them make it very, very clear that this is a last ditch strategy. And they're very clear that a Performance Max feed-only campaign did not work for all different businesses and that they would only use it after they had failed with a shopping campaign or a Performance Max campaign. And when I've gone through and reviewed some accounts that had these feed only campaigns, I saw a common theme in that what would happen is that they would see some relative amount of success for a period of maybe four to six weeks. In some cases, they would even go up to six to eight weeks, so pushing on three months, and then it would just drop away and the results would be back to where they were previously. So essentially, using a feed-only Performance Max campaign is like a last-ditch Hail Mary pass when everything else hasn't worked. So now that I've made it very clear that I don't like feed-only Performance Max campaigns and the reasons for why I don't like using them and why I just don't agree with the strategy at all, I wanna now discuss the bigger issue for why people are even trying this strategy. And this is sometimes the hardest thing to hear is because if something isn't working, there's either two options that we have. We can firstly look at the problem, which is Performance Max campaigns aren't working, and we can take a deep dive into the core reasons for why that may not be working, or we can keep coming up with some different creative ideas to try and make it work. And time and time again, whenever I've seen some accounts where people have used this feed-only strategy, the issue has actually been that their Performance Max campaigns weren't set up correctly in the first place. And I can always bring that down to four core elements. So if you're not seeing success with your Performance Max campaigns right now, rather than going through and trying this Hail Mary type strategy of a feed only Performance Max campaign, I want you to first go through and review your Performance Max campaigns and really look at these four areas because this is generally why you're not seeing success with your Performance Max campaigns. And the first one is, is that your Performance Max campaign is set up using the incorrect structure or settings. Secondly, you're not optimizing your Performance Max campaign 
in the right way and you're also not using a set and designed optimization schedule for your performance max campaigns number three and now this is probably the hardest one your ad assets so your ad copy your images and your videos just suck they're just really bad they're not engaging and they don't reach out and engage your potential customers and then finally the fourth core issue that i see with performance max campaigns that are failing actually comes down to the website and the product page in that the website and the product page is just a poor user experience. Now to help you with those first two points with making sure that you have the correct account structure for your Performance Max campaigns and that you've also got the correct optimization schedule, I wanna give you free access to two tools that you can use and get access to after you finish watching the rest of this video. So all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below and you can get access to my Google Ads Performance Max campaign setup guide and you can also get access to my Google Ads e-commerce optimization checklist. And those two tools, what they'll do is firstly, the campaign setup guide will take you through the steps of how to correctly structure and set up your Performance Max campaigns. And then my optimization schedule will take you through the exact optimization actions that you need to be completing every 72 hours, every week, every month, and every 90 days. And that is something that optimization schedule, which is highly important for Performance Max campaigns. And the reason for that is because if you wanna see success with Performance Max campaigns, because they are a smart campaign in that Google is doing a lot of the optimizations and the biddings and the targeting automatically. You need to make sure that you're optimizing things at the right time. So you wanna be collecting enough data, reviewing that data, and only then making those changes. Because with a Performance Max campaign, one thing is very, very clear, is that over-optimizing a Performance Max campaign, so optimizing your campaign too much can have just as much damage as under optimizing a campaign. So now that I've given you the tools so that you can go through and rectify those first two big issues that I see with Performance Max campaigns in that they don't have the correct structure or you're not using the correct optimization schedule, I wanna go through those next two points. And let's firstly look at the elephant in the room in that the reason for why your Performance Max campaign is not performing is because you have really crappy ads. Your images, your ad copy, and your videos are just poor. They don't engage, and customers aren't engaging with them, and they're not clicking on them. Let me make this very clear. Your ads are the first thing that people will see about your business. So if your ad copy and your images and your video is not engaging, people won't even click on your ad. They'll click on your competitor's ad. And then the way that the Google algorithm is structured, because remember that Google ads only gets paid when someone clicks on your ad. And it's the biggest money-making revenue scheme for Google. So the click-through ratio is a really important metric. So if your ads aren't engaging and people are clicking on your competitors' ads, as opposed to your ads, very quickly your ads will go down the rankings and your ads will only show once your competitors have already taken that high performing traffic. So how do you know if you've got poor performing ads? Well, the good news is, is that this is one of the areas where Performance Max does give you that data. So what I wanna do now is take you through a screen share so I can show you how you can see those results and also show you how you can put in a process so that you can easily go through and test some different ad assets. So when you're in your individual Performance Max campaign, you wanna go into your asset groups, and then from there, you wanna go into one of your individual asset groups and go into this view details section. And then from there, what you wanna do is you wanna look at this performance column. And what we wanna be going through and doing is looking at any of our individual headlines, our long headlines, descriptions, or images that have a low ranking. And what we want to do is that when we see these, we then want to go into edit, and then we want to go through and add in some new images, some new videos, and also different headlines and long headlines and descriptions. And then once we've given those new images, headlines, and videos about 14 to 21 days for Google to complete another round of testing, you'll actually see your updated scores. And then you just want to continue the process again. All the time you're going through and removing any headlines which have a low ranking and only keeping those ones that have 
have a performance ranking of best or good. And then I wanna show you now a really simple way of keeping track of what headlines and images that you've used. So all you need to do is to set up your own Google Sheet. And what I do here is I just put in the different headlines that I've used, and we've got them here for all of the different asset groups that we've got. And this is just purely a little tick box and it lets me know whether I've used this. So when we go through here and we change out our asset details, we can then put through, and let's just say, for example, this one was not successful, we can say that it had a low ranking. And then we know not to use that one. And then it's just a matter of going through and adding in new headlines. And you can also do this for your images and videos as well. And now this brings us to our fourth and final reason for why your Performance Max campaign may not be working the way that you want it to and it's not getting those results that you need. And that has to do with your landing page and your product pages. And the core understanding here is that for success with the Performance Max campaign, it's not only about what happens within Google Ads, so the campaign structure, the optimization schedule that you're using for your Performance Max campaign, then also going through and optimizing your ads, making sure that you've got engaging ad copy, images, and videos, even if you've got all of those elements set 100% right. So you've got the best structure, the best optimization schedule, and high performing ad assets. If they then are sent to a website or a product page, which just has a really poor user experience, it doesn't matter how good your ads are, how good your campaign structure is, and even how smart the Google Ads algorithm is, if you've got a poor website, you're just not gonna get those results. And because this is such a large topic to discuss, what I wanna do right now is I want you to go through and watch this next video, which I'm about to show you, which is a session that I did with a user testing expert who has done over 10,000 real life user tests. And in this session, he breaks down the five core elements that you need for success with landing pages coming from Google Ads campaigns. And if you wanna watch that teaching, all you need to do is to go through and watch this video right here. But if you're happy with how your landing page is working and you don't wanna use that feed only strategy, but you would like to use a new strategy that is proven to work, in Google Ads and it's all about combining Performance Max and shopping together the right way. If you wanna find out how to use that strategy, all you need to do is to go watch this video right here. Once again, thank you for joining me. See you next time.